So, today I thought I would make a video to show you guys how to replace the battery in your Dell Inspiron 2-in-1 laptop, the uh, 7000 series. Specifically, this is the 15-inch uh, 7569 model, I believe. It's a pretty easy job to do, but the first thing you need to do before you start a job like this is put down a nice clean cloth or something on your workbench or your desk because you don't want to finish your job and find out that uh, there was a little piece of grit or something then you're all proud of the work you've done and you flip the thing over and find out you scratched up the other side of it. So lay down a nice clean cloth. Next you need some sort of multi-compartment storage thing like I got on the left there. What I have there is specifically a little container for surface mount electronic components but you don't need something that fancy even a pff, an old egg carton or something would work and I've even seen people take a piece of duct tape and flip it sticky side up curl the ends under stick it down on the desk and then stick your screws to the tape as you go but you need some way to keep all of the screws to the, that are the same together so that you can put them back in your device in the same order you removed them because when you get into more complicated projects you're going to have a lot of different kind of screws. And this project, it's not that big of a deal because there's only 10 screws to remove in that bottom cover and they're all the same. So now we got all the 10 screws out here. You got to pop the bottom panel loose. I've been into this thing many times so that I can pop it right off with my fingers, but you might need you know, some sort of plastic spudger prying type device or a guitar pick or something to go around the edge and pop it loose. So you see the, bot the battery is right there on the bottom right corner. It's got four screw tabs that hold it in, but the two I'm pointing to on the right side there do not have screws in them because the screws in the cover go through those two tabs. The ones on the left side have screws that you'll need to remove. So we'll take those two screws out, keep those separate from the screws for the back cover. I did this a while ago and never finished the video here so I don't remember if those two screws are actually different from the ones on the cover but it's a good practice as you go through each step of a process like this to keep the screws separate just in case they are different. So the battery should lift right out then. All you have to do is remove the connector from the battery. There's probably a little pull tab or something on there that you want to pull on rather than pulling directly on the wires. You can see that battery is a little puffed up when I bought this thing it got like five hours worth of battery life and I think that was back in late 2016 and a few months back it got to the point where I was barely getting like an hour out of it doing normal just casual web browsing and stuff like that so I figured it was time for a new battery. The hardest part of this whole process was actually finding the new battery. There's even a Dell Power Manager app on your laptop that you can find in there somewhere that tells you the condition of your battery and it even has something you can click in there that to, to buy a battery it kicks you over to the Dell website but when I did that it gave me no results and no matter how much I searched on Dell's website I could not actually find this battery so I found one on Amazon which Dell probably wouldn't approve of but it's a, it says it's a genuine Dell battery it identifies in the uh, power manager app as being a genuine Dell battery so and it probably costs significantly less to get it off Amazon than getting it directly from Dell. Although you gotta watch, I found lots of batteries on Amazon and eBay, places like that, that didn't even have the Dell logo on them. I do not know if those will work or not. If the, if the laptop identifies it as not being a genuine Dell battery, if it will still charge it, or if it will just refuse to do so, I don't know. I found one that actually shows up as a genuine battery. So once you got the battery cable plugged back into the battery you just put those two screws back in the left side as you saw a minute ago while I was too busy talking <laughs> and then you uh, take your 10 screws there for the cover back cover just snap the cover back down in place put the 10 screws back in and that's pretty much all there is to this job it's actually pretty easy so you get these thin light laptops like they're making now they don't really have a way of making the battery removable like on the older ones where you could just where you would see the battery on the bottom and you could pull a little 
latch or something and just pop the battery out so they have to make these flat pack batteries like cell phones and stuff have and put them inside but you can still replace them it's not actually not that hard so we just got a few screws to go here and we'll have the bottom cover back on It's actually easy enough that I got ahead of myself on the video, <laughs> got the battery in faster than I could talk and tell you how to actually do it. And there's the last screw ready to go in the, wherever the last screw fits, up in the top left corner. The other thing I do on a job like this is once you get all the screws in, you might have thought you got them tight, but it's always a good idea to go all the way back around the circle and check each one that's still tight because sometimes things, you know, might shift or move or something a little, a little bit and a screw that felt tight isn't tight any longer. So you want to go back and double check them all and make sure they're really in tight. And that's it. It's back together. I can spend more time talking about it than actually doing it. So now we'll fire this thing back up and check in that Dell Power Manager app and make sure the battery is recognized. And here we have the Dell Power Manager Lite app coming up. And it shows there it is. 74% charge available and it's a genuine Dell battery and away it goes. Ready to go. Um, it's not 100% charged because the battery didn't ship with 100% charge, which is actually a good thing. You don't want to store lithium batteries at 100% charge or fully discharged. It's best if they're around two-thirds or three-quarters charged. So let's take a look at the old battery now that I've removed it from the laptop. You can kind of see from the light reflections on there that's kind of pillow-shaped. Hold it up to the camera here a little bit better and tip it. You can kind of see how there's three cells there and they're kind of puffy. See it even better on the bottom side. The new battery was, was, had no sign of that puffiness. It was flat across both the top and bottom surfaces. So we'll measure the uh, thickness of the battery pack here in between the cells to see what the original wa thickness was. You can see it's about 4.8 millimeters between the cells there. See it's almost 8.5 millimeters at the puffy part on that end cell. That's not good. I've seen online where people have posted pictures when battery is puffed up like that where it actually lifted the keyboard or the touchpad pushed it up on the laptop. I didn't see that on mine because apparently Dell did leave enough extra space in there for the battery to expand a little bit and not actually cause a problem. Well, that was easy. If you uh, like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the little bell for notifications, and thank you for watching.